Ensuring sufficient food security for the ever-increasing population is a serious challenge for the nation. As per one estimate, the population of the country by the year 2030 is expected to reach 1,530 million, which would require about 383 million metric tons of food grains to meet the demand. In order to increase and sustain the food grain production, it is essential to adopt intensive agricultural systems and advanced technologies along with protecting the crops from weeds. Weeds are those unwanted plants which compete with the crops for nutrients, moisture, light and space available in the field, thus reducing by alarming proportions the crop production and quality. Weeds account for about 37% of the total annual loss in crop productivity, estimated to be nearly 1 lakh crore rupees. In some of the crops, the loss due to weeds may be even 100%. In addition, weeds also harbor several disease-bearing pests and pathogens detrimental to crops. Weeds cause adverse effects on human health and also on the health and productivity of animals whereas invasive weeds are endangering our biodiversity. With the objective of managing and controlling the globally complicated problems of weeds, the Government of India, under the aegis of the Indian Council of Agricultural Research, set up the Directorate of Weed Science Research at Jabalpur in 1989. The Directorate of Weed Science Research is a nodal agency for carrying out basic and strategic research in the field of weed science in the country. It is also responsible for carrying out applied researches at its centers spread throughout the country and providing training to master trainers in the field of weed management. It is the only institute in the world which is dealing exclusively with weed science research using multidisciplinary approach. The directorate has been working in the field of research and development of weed science for the last two decades and its multidisciplinary research has brought out more than expected results. The directorate not only creates awareness about the loss caused by weeds but regularly popularizes weed management technologies to farmers. Some of the major broadleaf weed species of kharif crops are the Asiatic dayflower or kankava the desert horse purslane or patthar chata, the goat weed or mehekoa, gooseberry or van mekoi, ivy leaf morning glory or kala dana, the coxcomb or safed murg, the stone breaker or hazar dana, mekoi or black nightshade, and spurge or dudhi. The narrow leaf weed species of kharif crops are barnyard grass or sama. Bermuda grass or dubghas, yellow foxtail or bandra, Egyptian crowfoot grass or makara, and crab grass or digitaria. In addition, sedge weeds such as Cypress rodentis and Cypress area are also problematic. Some of the major broadleaf weed species of rubby crops are lamb's quarter or bathua, common vetch or akari, red chickweed or krishneel, yellow pea or jungly mutter, burk clover or jungly lucerne, chikori or kasni, sweet clover or white sweet clover or senji, field bind weed or hiran onion weed or vanpyaji, etc. 
The narrow leaf category weed species of rabi crops are canary grass or phalaris minor and wild oat. The infestation of parasitic weeds such as the giant dodder or the amar bale and the broom rape or ora banke are seen in pulses and oilseed crops in some parts of the country. It is necessary to identify the critical period of crop weed competition to render the weed control practices more effective. The critical stage of weed removal is different for different crops in different seasons. The Directorate of Weed Science Research has recommended different weed management technologies. Amongst these, preventive methods are quite economical and easy. As per this methodology, just by adopting some precautionary measures, the weed problem in crops can be minimized. For instance, these preventive techniques include the use of certified and weed-free clean seeds, the application of well-decomposed farmyard manure or compost, proper cleaning of agricultural tools and implements before use. In addition, the removal of weeds from irrigation channels, field buns and canal banks can also help in minimizing problems due to weeds. Mechanical measures are quite easy and effective for weed control as well. In the case of pulses and oilseed crops, the recommendation is made for manual and mechanical weeding instead of using weedicides. Manual weeding or the use of a wheel hoe twice between 15 to 60 days after sowing in case of pulses and 10 to 40 days in case of oilseed crops has been found to be effective in weed management. The non-availability of farm labour or excessively wet conditions in the field make the mechanical methods of weed management difficult to use. Another method of weed management is use of cultural practices which can be done in many ways. The stale seed bed technique which helps in destroying weeds involves the spraying of a 0.5% solution of glyphosate or paraquat on the weeds that appear in the fields after light irrigation or after rain or shallow plowing of the field with a rotavator at a stage when two to three leaves have emerged in the weeds. With the help of this technique, the wheat problem can be minimized in the main crop. Instead of broadcasting the seeds, sowing them in rows helps in the management of weeds. Wherever limited means of wheat control are available, the choice of varieties having initial faster growth should be made. Such crop varieties compete with the weeds and suppress their growth. In the rice wheat cropping system, the sowing of wheat with the help of a zero tillage machine without preparing the field immediately after the harvest of paddy helps in the reduction of the phalaris minor weed. The sowing of wheat on raised beds using a raised bed planter also helps in checking this weed. This technique is quite popular in the states of Punjab, Haryana, Western Uttar Pradesh and other areas in the Indo-Gangetic Plain. In respect of crops like maize, Intercrops like cow peas and green gram can be sown with the row spacing of 60 to 90 centimeters. These are fast growing and fast maturing and help in the effective management of weeds. In addition, there's a bonus in an additional crop production. One of the non-chemical methods of weed control is soil solarization. In this technique, the moist vacant crop field is covered with a thin transparent polythene sheet for a period of four to five weeks during the summer months of May and June in such a way that the soil's residual and controlled heat is retained inside. This helps in increasing the soil's surface temperature by 8 to 12 degrees Celsius resulting in the destroying of pathogenic microbes and weed seeds. This effect is retained normally for two to three crop cycles. This technique is recommended as a weed control mechanism for nurseries and high-value cash crops. Yet another effective weed management technique is the application of herbicides. These herbicides, when used in the right quantity at the right time, not only help in weed control but also save time and money.
The application of herbicides in crops can be done at three different times. Some herbicides are applied before sowing. For example, fluchlorolin is mixed in soil before sowing in case of use in pulse and oilseed crops. Some herbicides are applied after sowing but before the germination of the crops. Some herbicides are applied after germination 20 to 25 days of sowing. In view of the diversity of weeds seen in crops, it is not possible to control them just by the adoption of any single technique. Therefore, an integrated weed management approach should be adopted not only to get a higher production but also to reduce the dependency on herbicides and help in the maintenance of a clean environment. In addition to annual weeds, there are also other perennial, parasitic and alien invasive weeds which adversely affect food grain production and also biodiversity. It has now become imperative to manage these alien invasive weeds at the appropriate time and control their spread. This will check the decline in the production of field crops besides maintaining biodiversity. One of the practical approaches for weed management is through their utilization in different sectors. Some weeds are used as food vegetables and as green fodder for animals. Some other weeds are used for the preparation of Ayurvedic medicines, biogas, compost manure, vermicompost, paper, furniture, etc. Research in the phytoremediation technique for the possible use of aquatic weeds in the treatment of heavy metal contaminated water is also being undertaken in this directorate. The research and development initiatives undertaken for effective weed management by the Directorate of Weed Science Research and their dissemination to the farmers are yielding encouraging results. Hopefully, these weed management initiatives will not only help the country in food security, but also protect our agriculture from weeds and enhance agricultural production.